Witt released this statement. There is an allegation made against me that is completely untrue and I cannot let it go unchallenged. I did not pledge any money for any type of incentive program whatsoever pertaining to the 2010 NFC Championship game. Furthermore, I have never at any time pledged any money for any type of incentive program or so-called bounty program. Also, it cannot be overemphasized enough that none of our players, particularly those facing suspension, ever crossed the white line with the intent to injure an opponent. I am proud of our players and stand behind them 100% and will do whatever I can to help them restore their good names. Adam Schefter is back with us now. And Adam, you spoke to Vit today. Why did he make this offer to the commissioner? I think he's absolutely outraged at what has gone on here and some of the accusations that have been levied in his direction. The NFL put on a board the other day that he had put up $5,000 to get Brett Favre in a game, which he insists is not true. The NFL said it had spoken to Joe Vitt, and he had corroborated the evidence that John Vilma had offered up bounties, and he insists that's not true. And I feel like, in speaking to him, it certainly sounds as if he feels his name has been dragged through this enough and he feels like there have been so many mistruths, if there's such a word, said about him over time. And he wants everybody to know the truth from his standpoint. And he believes very strongly and very firmly that the allegations that have been made against him in connection to this alleged bounty scheme are not relevant, not accurate, and not pertinent. They're just not true. And he told Commissioner Goodell that he would take a lie detector test to prove it, and he said that everything that's been said in connection to his name and a bounty scandal are lies. That's what he believes, firmly. Adam, you were one of the 12 reporters that the commissioner showed the evidence that they have to this week. We see these vehement denials from Fujita, from Vilma, from Vit. Why is there such a disconnect between the evidence the league continues to say it has and the evidence that the league showed you and what these guys said happened? Each side is convinced of its own stand. The league is convinced that it has enough evidence to implicate the Saints in some type of bounty scheme or pay-for performance scandal. And maybe it's not clear exactly what they did, but the league is convinced it has the evidence to find them guilty. The Saints, from man to man to man to man, have come out and not just denied it, but denied it vehemently. And I know that it's human nature to come out and deny when it's not true, but the emotion that these men have spoken with and the passion that these men have spoken with leads you to wonder what exactly is going on that leads to a disconnect. And maybe, just maybe, and this is just speculation, there was some type of pay-for-performance program that now is being redefined and recategorized in a way that the Saints are just completely unhappy with and they don't believe is true. But I think the league is doing what it can to ensure the safety of the game at a time where safety's gotten more emphasis than ever before. And the Saints are fighting this because they believe the charges that have been levied against them are 100% not true.